Hello everybody and welcome to Farming Simulator 22. Double G here. It's episode 16 in the series we're doing on the Elm Creek map. So I used the last episode to kind of progress through the winter. We started off in December and I sprayed the weeds that I missed in this little plot of wheat. Uh, it's not much but I still want to make it as productive as possible. And then I used the spreader and spread the second application of fertilizer on all the fields so we can get as much as we can. And then I progressed into January and it was snowing pretty heavy. A lot of snow on the ground, wasn't much I could do, but I did let the chickens run out of food. So I filled up the chicken food silo. There's 5,400 liters left right now, which is good for about two and a half months. So we'll probably have to buy chicken food before we harvest the wheat. I'm pretty sure I can harvest the wheat in July. We'll also be planting some sorghum in April that we can harvest in August. But I don't think it's going to come soon enough. So uh, we'll be prepared to buy some food for the chickens if we have to. After I fed the chickens, I progressed into February, which was the best month for the produce. So I sold all the produce I had for about $15,000. And then I realized that all the produce is making about the same amount of money over the same period of time. And since the uh, lettuce pallets are worth the most, although we don't get as many of them, uh, I converted all the greenhouses to lettuce so that it would be a bit easier to sell because there'll be fewer pallets and we'll only have to go to one place to sell it. In the future, I can convert one or two of these over to strawberries when I get a bakery because uh, the strawberries would be more valuable than lettuce as an ingredient in the cake production. But that's down the road. So after I sold everything, progressed into March and sold all the honey because it was the best month. Made around $6,300 and that brings us to where we are now. So the grass in the back is ready to cut. This will be the last uh, round for a while that's intended for silage. So we have these three fields, same three fields we've been doing. Um, and like I said last episode, after we cut this and get the bales picked up and sold, I'm going to plow these two fields into one just to give us more, you know, fertilizable area. And then the field up top will be sorghum for more chicken food. And then I'm hoping we can add some sheep. Um, I was bouncing between sheep and pigs. The thing is, the sheep only take hay. And you can sell the wool. And then you can sell the sheep as they get older. With pigs, they take four different types of food. And... The only thing there is to make money off of is selling the pigs. So I think the, the play is going to be to go with sheep. So that they're a little less doing to feed and maintain. And there's more than one way to make money off of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get hooked up to the mower here. Let's see if I can clear the pole. Pretty tight. There we go. Oh, and it looks like I'm kind of bunched up next to the wind rower. Okay, we made it out. So we've already done silage multiple times on this series. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get everything cut, rowed, bailed, and wrapped off camera. Even as a time lapse, it would take five or six minutes, which is you know quite a bit of time, even in a time lapse. So I'm going to get all this done off camera and I'll see you when we have the field bailed and wrapped.
So it looks like this is the last bale we'll get out of the field. I'll go ahead and pick up the rest of it just to keep it clean. To be quite honest, I haven't kept track of how many bales it was, but it'll be easy enough to get a count when we're done here. It's quite a few. Let's see. Nope. Wrong page. That page. Looks like we've made 20 bales. And 37% in the baler, which isn't horrible. The last time we had 42 bales, but those were 120 centimeter bales. This time we're working with 150 centimeter bales because I remembered to up the size before I started. So the real tail of the tape will be when we go to sell them next month. Uh, you can see I opted for the Pottinger baler wrapper combo. Uh, it didn't make sense to buy it because I'm not going to be focusing on silage. Uh, I will lease the bale loader trailer as well just to make it easy to pick them up and sell. I think in the future, uh, with going with sheep and only needing hay and being able to sell hay bales, since I don't need a bale that can be wrapped, I will probably go with the Massey Ferguson conventional baler to buy. Maybe even the conventional bale stacker. And then with my Massey Ferguson tractor and front end loader, I'm hoping to be able to pick up a stack of bales with a uh, weight on the back of the tractor. So I'm just going to get this returned. We'll go back to the farm. And then we can come back and lease the bale loader trailer. So we'll just go in here, least items, bailer, and return. So we'll go back to the farm. We'll progress into April. Uh, the greenhouses are, have enough water. The chickens have enough food for the moment. In April, we'll come get the bale loader trailer. We'll pick the bales up off the field. It'll have to be late in the day before they're fermented and ready to sell. But if we get them picked up and store them on the trailer in the edge of the field, that'll allow us to, you know, do what we need to do in the field to get um, the, the biggest field planted with sorghum and to put sheep on the smaller two fields that we're going to join together and keep as grass. So we'll just come over here, we'll hop out, progress, jump right back in the truck and go right back to the store. Seem to be having some lag issues. There was an update today. Until I get that figured out, hopefully by the next video, we'll be able to get that sorted out. You'll just have to bear with me if we have a few little jumpy spots. Alright, back to the store. I suppose I could have progressed time in the store parking lot, but that just didn't seem very realistic. So I'm guessing that the bales are probably somewhere around 80%. So that means they'll probably be 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We can go in and speed up time a little.
just oh all over the road looking at my keyboard we'll speed up time a bit just to help them along probably doesn't have to be that fast Trailers, bail loaders, the old trusty. Release that. Yep. Okay. Shadows are acting a little funky with time sped up. Now, I'm not quite sure. I haven't had a chance to read the patch notes from the update today. It's definitely a little choppy. And I'm only doing this part now to clear the bales so that they're not in the middle of the fields that we're trying to work in. Um, keep progressing right now we're at about 24 hours from the time they got bailed oh and here comes the rain alright we'll slow time back down quite a bit jump out and check one of these so that is that's solid at this point. We'll check one of the last ones we bailed. Might keep progressing time just to get rid of this doggone rain. And that is solid. I believe that was the last bail I made. Or was it a little further? Maybe it was this one. They're all reading the silage, so we'll go ahead and load them up. Get them sold. It's April, so we can plant the sorghum. Let's see. Just look really quick and see how long this rain is supposed to last. Only for the hour. So we can go ahead and get these picked up and sold. Um, if we look, the it's the best place to sell silage. Um, looks like the animal dealer. So, what I will do is I'll do a time lapse, get these picked up, get them sold, and get the trailer returned. And then when I get back to the farm, we can recap how much money we made.
so we're back at the farm. I got the bales sold. They sold for about 58,500. We're up to 106,228. When I was returning the. Sorry, concentrating on something else. When I was returning the trailer, I knew I would need some seed for the cedar. So I went ahead and swapped out and got the mass seed so that I would be able to pick it up and bring it back. That might work. Let's see if it'll take what it can. Nope, that's alright. We'll just put it next to it. Actually, we can set it in front of these pallets here. I really work myself into the shed here pretty good. Alright, see if I can get out of this pickle. What I will need is the cultivator. So for the moment, actually I could just leave the front end loader on. The subsoiler actually. You get the subsoiler. Now the subsoiler will satisfy it acts like a plow and will satisfy the plowing requirement, but the menu system treats it as a cultivator. So I did install the mod that will allow me to create fields with a cultivator. Because that's part of what I'm going to do here in joining these two fields together. So I just want to line this up here. Best as I can. I want to keep it as neat as possible. And then I will allow create fields and lower it get a little closer so now if I lower it it should yep let me come through here and we can re-raise it go up to the top end do the same thing and then just plow up the area in between for the first cycle, the growth states will be slightly off, but it's not a big deal. After you cut it once, it won't matter. So I think if I just drop it here, there you go. And keep it relatively straight. Maybe a slight bend to meet up with this side. Uh, that's about all I could ask for right there. And now I just have to plow up the area that's not considered a field at the moment. A couple of passes should get it done. Looks like there's some rocks. Uh, if there are rocks in the bigger field, I'll probably get a rock picker. But for this little amount, if this is all we have, I won't bother with it. For one little strip in a grass field. that and back up the other side should be done this will just give us that much more grass that we can fertilize it'll be a grass crop not meadow grass get done with this I have to make sure that I turn off the you know turn it back to limit to fields so that I'm not completely making a mess of everything. Alright and there's that. Alright limit to fields and then what I'll do is I'll put this over here and let a worker subsoil this field.
looks like we don't have any rocks in this field yet. I'm going to say probably not. Go to the map. Stones. Yeah, see, we definitely have stones here. Not super concerned about that, though. The other upside is this field for the sorghum will be double application fertilized because we're plowing up grass. Yeah, I think we're probably in good shape. So I'll get the John Deere. I'll seed, I put grass seed in the area I just plowed up. And then I can come over and put sorghum in the field that's currently being subsoiled. reasonably certain that the cedar is pretty low on seed, which is why I went ahead and got a bag. I mean, for, what, $600? It's worth, you know, saving the trip to the store. And refill. Um, yeah, we were 16%. So... That's handled. I want to make sure I put this on grass so we don't have another seeding incident. And I also have to make sure I put it on sorghum or I'll plow up a grass field to plant another grass field. get this uh, filled in and I'm thinking that the edge of the field is square off to the right uh, up against the road is going to be the place where I put the sheep enclosure because that way I can access it pretty easily from both sides I'm not quite sure how all of the pallet location, feed point, spawn point, all lines up. I have to look at it when we go to place it. Shouldn't be too horribly difficult though to get it in a good spot. I think what I'll do is I'll get this seated, then I'll, I'll set it on a worker in the other field and probably finish subsoiling myself. So now I have one big, nice grass field, or bigger, hopefully it's enough grass to support the sheep. If necessary, we could always buy another smaller field and convert it to grass if needed. Alright, that's it for that. Make sure I go ahead and put this to sorghum. So what I'll do is I'll put this on a worker and finish subsoiling myself in a quick time lapse. 
And when we're done with that, we can put down put in some sheep. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. That's done. I'll let the worker continue with the sorghum. We'll come down here and look at our options for the sheep. Now, as I recall, mature sheep run around $500 each, but I can't really look at the cost of them until I go into the animal dealer after I've installed the sheep pen. So we'll just go into construction mode here. And go to construction, construction, animals, and sheep. So there's one for 97,000, but that only leaves seven. 8,000 for sheep, maybe 9 for sheep, and for uh, hay, because I just converted all my grass into straw, so I'm going to have to buy a hay bale or two to start. So, as much as I would like to get the biggest one, I think I'm going to have to go with the medium one here. It still has the water plumbed in. If I got the, the meadow, you'd have to give them water and hay or grass. The medium enclosure has the water plumbed in, which is nice, and holds 25 sheep. The big one holds 65. So I think I'll install this one. When it comes to the second one, I'll put in this one. And if I feel like I'm not making enough wool, I could always sell this one and replace it with a big one. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I could just put it here in the corner. Could put it in the other corner. Um, I kind of like this corner. Yeah. And since I haven't turned anything, it's lined up nicely. Let's... I want to... Hmm, don't mess up. 
What do I want to do? Yep. Good. I turned the camera, not the build. So I can put this on the corner like that. Not so bad. Then we still have room for a big one over here. Maybe even to have two big ones. Just out of curiosity, how much room? Oh yeah, we could easily put a big one and then put a big one over here again later. So that's fine. Now we need to buy some sheep. So we have to get out of that menu, go back in, go to the animal dealer, buy sheep. Okay, so we got Landris of Bentheim, Steinschaft, I guess they probably all do the same thing except for the way they look. So we could go like, just get some of each. They are 488 for a mature, and since I'm going with the smallest enclosure, I'll say I can have 25, I'll get five of each kind. And then that'll leave me room to uh, have five be born before it fills up. So let's buy five of four of those. Or five of those. We'll buy five of these. Why not have a mixture? We'll buy five of those. And we'll buy five of those. All right. And we still have 44,000 left over, which is nice to not be completely broke. Oh, yeah. We got some of all. Looks like white with a white face, white with a black face, brown with a black face, and black with a black face. All right. They've got water, but they need food. So we'll just have to head to the store and pick up a bale of straw. If I look at the menu under my animals. All right. So the food level is at zero and it doesn't tell me how much it'll hold. Hmm. Very odd. So we'll just go get a bale, maybe two. The good thing is, is I can set the bell there and it'll take what it can. And then as they eat the food, it'll just continuously take from the bell until it's depleted. I don't know why I brought the subsoiler, but it may be beneficial to have some weight on the back anyway. I'm hoping that hay bales are not... Let's look. Um, gra oh, it says grass, not hay. Sheep eat grass and hay. Additionally, they require water. Um doesn't tell me how it says grass is 100% effective so we'll maybe get grass bales if we can that would be nice as well because I wouldn't have to buy a tether for the grass field I could just cut the grass row it and bale it So we'll see if they have straight up grass bales. Okay, bales. They have hay, hay, silage, silage, and wheat straw. Looks like it's hay for these guys. We've got 980 for 4,500 liters. And we've got 1494 8,000 liters. Um, so that's a little less than 200 per thousand liters. This is 
right at. Let's see if we can pick up a big bale. Let's cross our fingers and hope. All right. Spread the forks out. I don't think it would really matter. Get them pointed in the right direction. All right, let's see if we can pick it up. It doesn't look that big. Oh, maybe I was a little high, yep. Well, I know that you can use forks to pick up a bale. Stab it. There you go. I don't seem to be having any weight issues. Alright, let's go get the sheep fed. So now, among our productions, we have eggs, produce, sheep, for wool. Is that it? That would be it. Hopefully that generates enough income for us to be able to expand into fields where we're planting crops for profit. And less for maintaining the animals. But maintaining the animals is going to have to come first. But I think we're doing well for productions. I just wish we had a little more land. Looks like the sorghum's almost done as well. So, again, this is 8,000 liters. My guess is like 4,500 liters for capacity. Give it a second and see if it changes any. Yep. 3,500 liters, which means it took 4,500 liters. Oh. What we'll do is we will just leave this here. And they can take what they need as they need it. We'll know we're getting close when the bale's gone. Worker done. Appears though it is, or it maybe has one more pass. It's on the last pass. That one little edge. So we get everything put away. so nice for everything to have a place where it goes. Oh, wrong end. Got to get it to there. Go park this. There's Gulliver. Oh, I forgot to feed Gulliver today. Busy trying to go. Betcha he is ticked off. Too busy to get the trailer return. Oh. It's too busy to get the trailer returned. Or the bailer. I can't remember which now. He's gonna come run it. Or maybe not. Okay. Crazy dog. Oh, there he goes. And we'll just have to grab the cedar with the John Deere. And we'll be done for today. The 
Yep. Nice and planted. Just double check. Yep. It's all fertilized. And it is all sorghum. Nice. And they didn't even plant the wrong crop. What do you know? Still have 73% left in the cedar with more seed in the shed, so that's good. Wheat looks like it's doing well. Should be able to harvest it in two or three more months. top this off one more check on the chickens just to make sure they're not running out of food I figure as long as they have 2,000 liters they're fine and we've got 3150, so we'll have to get food for the chickens in the next episode. But as for now, we have another field of chicken food, and we have sheep. We still have money left over. So, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching, and until next time, take care.